So, after all the discussion that you have, you had here, do you think that the paywalls could possibly help the media groups to overpass the difficult period? Uh, well, definitely, yes. It is uh, a, a, you know, something strategic that we all have to address one way or the other. So, uh, as we've just seen, you know, we all have different solutions, but um, this is definitely somewhere we have to investigate and. Uh, and some of us have already uh, making some uh, have already some success and uh, and have already making some money out of paywalls. Well, the uh, disadvantage is that we have to now try to develop a new culture for all the people for that have for many years um, uh, developed the free culture, which uh, you know they are reading news for free. And they uh, maybe not ready yet to fully pay. So this is something we have to address, and that's that's something very important. That's mm -hmm. it's not easy to do. Uh, advantage, uh, obviously, in time for us will be benefits, and uh, and to and to just rationalize and promote what we are about. We, you know, we have to get money in order to pay journalists, mm -hmm. and in order to make you know. Uh, real news and not just only communication news. For me, I think uh, there's two extremes. There's going to be maybe even more concentrations of bigger groups because we need bigger volumes, uh, bigger ways to attract new agencies, and uh, that's some um, uh, maybe bigger conglomerates that are about to arrive. And at the same time, there's still space for niche uh, titles and niche specific uh, publications. And in between, I don't know, but uh, that's how I see things. It's uh, obviously more, you know, the, the, the day you, you give more access to and freely. It's not only a web, it's about now phones and, and stuff. So, you know, you have places where uh, people didn't take the web option and went directly to the application on the phone or m mobile phone. So, yes, it's certainly uh, uh, something, but at the same time, it's so easy that you can... Uh, quickly switch from real journalism to, as I was saying previously, communication. And it's easy for politicians and big companies now to open their Facebook and all of that in order to communicate and look like real news as when it's not. No, the secret is to be able to uh, to change. You know, if uh, if we want to be successful, you know, we have, we need to change because otherwise. If we're too stagnant, we see the, there's an obsolete model now. Uh, if we talk about print, uh, we need to be evolved, and we need to evolve in a, uh, in a new dimension, new uh, uh, new devices, and uh, and new uh, you know generations that are not that don't have the same culture and don't mm -hmm. you know maybe haven't ever read a newspaper. So we need to. Well, I think so obviously it has to be in, the, in between the two. Uh, you know, uh, we um, the new people ultimately we will have. It's our you know it's our duty to to make them understand that in order to be uh, have quality quality news, they have to pay at some point, mm. and uh, at the same time, so we have to wait to find way new ways to uh, new models. Uh, so maybe we. At some point, we won't be able to charge as much as we used to do when we were doing some newspaper. It doesn't matter if at some point, you know, people have access to... to it's a question of time. So it's a question of, you know, you know, I know, for instance, I know maybe if I'm going to the New York Times, maybe I know that I can Google stuff and I will access and then I have a higher uh, numbers of, uh, of articles and I'm not limited by the meter. But in time, it's a question of time. So, you know, uh, at some point, it's a question of what are we trying to monetize is as much the content as the service around the content. So if I'm able to uh, broadcast my content through all the devices anytime and qualitatively, then uh, uh, surely, uh, you know, in if, if I'm not paying, I don't have these qualitative services, at some point I will be, I will be uh, maybe ready to pay. And not, and at some, you know, we're not at the moment at least trying to uh, convince all the people, and it will take time. There is uh, definitely much, much more effort in technology, yeah. marketing, and all of that because uh, we are on a completely connected uh, world, which is 
ultimately has its bad aspects and the good signs because we know exactly what people are doing and mm -hmm. in time in the following months well, you will you, you will see much more tailored uh, projects and services to one person.